Hello everybody! So, today let's tell a story about what's happening recently to me. It's happened like a couple months ago, but so, or it started almost exactly a year ago. I was getting tons and tons of mail not addressed to me when I moved here. And basically, all of the mail, probably for previous tenants, right? And I was trying to be a good Samaritan, right? So I went to the post office. And I, every month, I took all the letters I got and I brought them back to the post office. Now, after about eight months of me doing this, I think that someone finally was like, this is a problem. And so they just stopped sending me mail at all for about two months. And I missed bills. I missed pay stubs. I missed <sighs> letters from like invitations to a wedding or something like that. Everyone was like calling me and being like, hey, did you move? Like all of like the doctor's offices and things like that. And I'd be like, no, I haven't moved. And so at some point I went to the post office and I was like, hey, can, can I start getting mail again? And they were like, you're not getting mail? And I was like, I'm not getting mail. And they were like, you must have gone away on a trip. And I'm like, I didn't go away on a trip. I've been here the whole time. And so I explained to them that I had been bringing in mail for other people that was delivered to my address and they might have just cut off all things to my address and they were like, oh. And so that day I started receiving mail again, which was great. And just as, as an aside, I don't blame the post office for any of this. I'm sure that it's really hard for them to keep track of things and keeping track of who lives where is definitely not one of their responsibilities, I don't think. So like, you know, I just, it's just unfortunate that they stopped sending me mail. <laughs> but what ended up happening was when I started getting mail again, I got my pay stubs, which was nice. I got all the bills that were overdue. Oh, thank God I was, it wasn't that bad. But then two weeks ago, I got a letter that said, please sign your lease. You need to re-sign your lease to stay here another year completely normal and I went to go fill it out and unfortunately I looked at the thing the letter and it said to return it that I must return it by a week before I received it and so I currently actually still don't know if I'm gonna get evicted I sent back the signed contract hoping that I won't but you know if I do I'm probably gonna take a break from YouTube because <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to handle it probably just take a break from everything but I don't think I will I'm gonna send them a big old check for my rent and if they take my money I feel like they can't evict me or probably just won't but yeah so that's about how like you know sometimes trying to do nice things uh, like returning mail that's not yours can get you in a lot of trouble and oh well <laughs> so yeah see y'all